My name is James Williams Jr. and this is Kung Fu Havoc number two. This is Monday morning. It is 12.30 in the a.m. And this is my last report for Sunday night because I'm going to bed. So, one of my favorite cartoons was known as The Adventures of the Galaxy Rangers. Now, granted, it is not as old as Power Rangers, but it's pretty damn old. Power Rangers has lasted a lot longer if you go all the way back to like 70... Two seventy three, something like that. Might even further back in Japan itself. But um, as far as the Adventures of the Galaxy Rangers go, it's a very popular cartoon. It was so popular, in fact, that they didn't even give us toys. So I'm really upset about that. Now, I can say that because, as far as I know, there hasn't been any toys to the Galaxy Rangers. Not the Power Rangers lost Galaxy Rangers, but the, Power, the, the, the Adventures of the Galaxy Rangers, the four cow people... The four rangers that rode electronical horses. There was one girl and three guys. One black guy, two white guys, and a white girl. Her name is Nico, who I always thought was Miko. Okay, now we got that out the air. And then there was Zozo and the other guy. I don't know which one's which. It's been a long time since I watched the cartoon. But I'm really upset that they never, ever got toys. Spiral Zone even got toys. I didn't get them because I didn't really like action figures this high. I have one that was given to me. But, um... You know, same thing with Centurions. They got figures, but they were like giant Ken dolls. But they were cool Ken dolls. But you had to have them big so you could put all the snap-on pieces and everything. But I want to know why in the blue hell that the Galaxy Rangers never got toys. It would have been cool to have those guys. You know, the Super Troopers, Shane Gooseman, Zachary Fox, his kids, his wife, the suits, the ships. And they never got any of that. Even Robotech got toys. And though the people that made the Robotech toys didn't do as great of a job as the Hasbro people, which would have been great if they would have went to Hasbro and they would have had the actual toys designed and all that, but, you know, Hasbro lost out on that one, but, um, I think we actually lost out on that, in my personal opinion, not that I don't have any of the Robotech toys, because I do, it's just that the Hasbro people make the toys a little bit better, most of my, um, Robotech figures are either thumbless or fingerless, and, um, I think the only one I have in good shape is probably Rick Hunter because he was my favorite until Scott Bernard came along and I never got my Scott Bernard. I have Rand, but I don't have Scott Bernard. I could never find Scott Bernard. And I don't have Yellow Dancer or Lancer the Yellow Dancer. I don't have him and I don't have Min May. She's probably the best one to get, you know, because she came with a dress. But anyway, moving back on, I know the Bionic 6 has toys. I didn't get all of them and I wanted them to. And the thing is, you know, Galaxy Rangers was a pretty good cartoon. And all of these cartoons came out in the 80s, between 84 and 86, in which I speak. And if Bond 6 had toys, why didn't the Galaxy Rangers have toys? Even Voltron had toys, and they even had a redux of toys in the late 90s. And Galaxy Rangers was just overlooked. So my name is James Williams Jr., and if you guys happen to know why Galaxy Rangers never got toys, and hell, they've been on, they're, they're like 20-something anniversaries coming up soon. And there's no advertisements for selling them on DVD or anything, so you have to find them. You have to watch, like, Hulu or YouTube if you're lucky enough to, to find them. And it's not called The Galaxy Rangers. It's called The Adventures of the Galaxy Rangers, which was a good cartoon. And it's the same thing with Bionic 6, you know. they all Both both shows basically only got, like, one season. And the same thing with um, Transor Z. In Japan, it's called Mango Z, but they got more seasons than we got, I believe. And so, you know, they didn't even get toys. But they should have got toys because Voltron was popular and he got toys. I don't know why Meng Luzi, he got the die-cast metal toy, but you didn't get Tommy and the hovercraft or any of that stuff to, um, you know, action figure-wise. The only action figure you got was the Meng Luzi thing itself. You didn't even get the Bobo Bot. I don't even know if he existed in the um, Japanese version, but I do know that he didn't get a toy. If he did get a toy, I didn't find it. But anyway, my name is James Williams Jr. And I just wanted to know if anybody else out there knows why certain cartoons didn't get certain toys. I mean, hell, even the Silver Hawks got to reduce. The Thundercats got to reduce. Why didn't they redo the Galaxy Rangers and the Bionic 6? Those were really good cartoons. You guys should probably Google them and check them out. All right, my name is James Wilson Jr., and I'm Audi 5000. These will be posted sometime today.